Folks did, till they invented houses. Dad told me to clear up the lawn, so... <laughs> Eat wind, naked pants! Tony, nature doesn't stand a chance around here. Where is your brother? Last time I saw him, he was going all natural. Go fetch him, right now. Ah, uh, Lucian, where are you, Lucian? We miss you so much, Lucian. Right here. I tried there. It won't fit. I was not living up a tree like a dirty bird. Tony and I are building a tree house. That sounds uncivilized to me. Not at all. We have bedding, a radio, a lunch nook, our own water supply. And soon we hope to have an electric wind generator. And perhaps even a flushing eco toilet, too. Oh. garage. Uh, a home? That's right. I live here now. Permanently! Dad, I feel 
feel funny. Wendy Winkle's spying on me. No, I'm not. See? She's not. Can we move to Blanford? Here's an idea. You move to Blanford and we get rid of both of you. You can't live down there. You'll go stale. If Lucian can live up a tree, then I can live underground. It's a democracy. Uh. There's that awful smell again. Sugar dogs are Wayne's favorite meat treat, right? Oh, I've been cooking them for days now and no Wayne. Am I doing something wrong? Listen, if you want to see Wayne so bad, invite yourself over for supper. Great idea! Meat! Ah! My kitchen broke, and Lucian said to come over for supper. But it isn't supper time, dear. Good guests come early. Gotta freshen up! Lost my appetite. For food, at least. You want me to build what? A basement, Daddy. But it's a tree house, Peach Blossom. <laughs> okay, in basement it is. I came here for peace and quiet, Tony. Darkness has made you go kooky. Nah, -uh, Mom. I'm just protecting myself. Wendy's still around here someplace. I can sense her. Where did that come from? What? I need my comforts. Things must be pretty sweet at home with Wayne out of the picture, huh? Yeah. Now, if only Castle Wendy would up and blow away, we'd have it perfect. You scare me sometimes, Lucian. They're on to me, Davinia. I don't know how, but they are. Remember, they're watching. Trust no one. <laughs> oh, yuck! Here no more, kids. The swamp's on the rise, and this land's awful fond of flooding. I don't deserve food. I'm practically a murderer. I'm not. She's in here. I can hear Wendy's voice. She's after me. Hey. Must be her ghost. It'll be Lucian she's after. Honey. I told you she was here! She built a spy tunnel! More like a... T 
tunnel of love. <laughs> I feel violated. I know exactly what Wayne's wearing under those shorts. Come on. I know everything about Wayne now. Anyway, the waters will be gone soon. Don't you worry. Thank you for the advice. <gasps> Hear that, boys? Don't get too comfortable down there. Ah, Eat that last. Right, class. Apparently, it's a good idea to ask children to talk about their weekends. So, talk, Mari. I enjoyed two whole days of family hugging therapy. Big whoop. Wayne? Huh? Oh, yeah. We had a visit from our grandma. Ugh. <sighs> Marcus. Well, I went to Aqua World. <gasps> and the Dangerous Weapons Museum. <gasps> and hot air ballooning on Saturday morning. <gasps> and in the afternoon... Hey, Dorcas, how come you have such cool weekends? Uh, my parents got divorced, Wayne. You know, split up. Well, so they both take me out all the time, trying to outdo each other or something. Oh, split up, eh? Hello, dear. Had a good day? Mom, look what I found. Dad left it in the bathroom this morning and it made a ring. Divorce a mom. Over a dirty cup and a ring of germs? Oh, don't be silly, Wayne. Do you realize there are fillies out there without spurs and tassels? Oh, okay, ten dollars, but you're killing me. Zero. And the money so far will help to buy shiny belt buckles for 13 lucky ladies. What is the meaning of this? Whoa! I'm oh, sorry, dear. I, well, I, I, I had no idea. I... That's because your mind was muddied with thoughts of her. Uh, Mom, wouldn't this be a good chance to test that? As can deep cleansing fluid dad brought home? Hmm. Uh. Apply liberally to stain, scrub like crazy. Uh. No! Your new fancy gunk just burnt a hole in the carpet. It's just another has chem hazard. Now, wait a minute. That stuff's been approved by the Board of Dangerous Chemicals. It, you must be rubbing too hard. <gasps> Are you saying I don't know how to clean properly? No, I, I'm just saying that sometimes you uh, apply a little too much pressure. Hello? Uh, Mr. Cramp here. I want to pledge my whole collection of Rodeo Rita stuff. Everything? Even the autograph saddle? 
You gave it all away? I thought you pledged it. <laughs> it was to charity, Dad. To help the poor cowgirls, remember? You gave it all away! <laughs> oh, I love you, honey mom. You've got such a big heart. Hey, Dad. You could even bid to buy your stuff back. Great idea, Lucian. We can dip into the vacation fund. There is no way you're going to blow our vacation savings on that junk. Ha <laughs> ha Drag racing first, then the Smashatarium. Wait, have you been trying to upset them on purpose? It's worth it, girl pants. Don't you know kids from broken homes get spoiled rotten? Hissy, uh, 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 creams, cleansers, uh, uh, your message sounded urgent. Indeed. Your words got me all in a tiz. Huh? Uh, uh, <clears throat> what words? Has can executive range. Uh, could I have a glass of water? Of course. The atmosphere is hot in here. <laughs> Mr. Cram, your water. It appears my information was erroneous, Dottie. This place is spotless. That's a big compliment coming from you. Say. How'd you like to see some state-of-the-art cleaning products? Some of them are highly experimental, dangerous, even. Oh, oh Agent X, this is beyond my wildest dreams. How could you? Sampling another man's cleaning products behind my back. Hey, Dottie, look at that collar. I've got just the thing for lipstick stains right here. Uh, maybe Miss Hissy, uh... You accused me of two-timing, and you'd been playing kissy kissy with kissy kissy! What? Well, I wasn't. Uh, well, I never... How dare you! This is the last straw. I'm leaving! What? No, I didn't. What about all the fun trips? Yeah, well, things start off all right, the so-called honeymoon period, but that doesn't last. Pretty soon they get lonely, and before you know it, there are new uncles, new kids, and no money. See, girl pants? It's vacation time! Let's go somewhere tropical, Mom. We're not going on vacation, Wayne. In fact, we're going to go and live at Grandma's. <laughs> what? No way! What about our so-called honeymoon period? You're pathetic. Dot! <laughs> a tramp! A tramp burglar? And he smells like Dirty Joe! <gasps> Just a minute. That's no tramp. <laughs> That's your father. Dad? Oh, I, I've come back to the wrong house. Sorry. Force of habit. I don't live here anymore. Wait, Dad! Don't go! How could you let yourself go like this? 
It's only been one night. I guess my mommy doesn't look after me as well as your mommy does. Oh, uh, that's it. You're not allowed out on your own anymore. Get upstairs, Mr. Cramp. It's bath time. Oh, does this mean we're back together, Honey Apron? He'll get to us first. You know, dipping into our vacation fund might not be such a bad idea. Somewhere tropical, maybe? See, Lizard Legs, I told you we'd get a vacation out of this. Now you be good for Grandma while we're away. This is so unfair. What about our second honeymoon? Second honeymoon. <laughs> Mom and Dad have travel insurance. If they had a little accident, we could be in for big bucks. <gasps> How about a kiss for Grandma, boys? Thank <laughs> you.